Hello and welcome to the Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service Recycle Rhythms Project. This is video number three in the series. If you've not already seen video number one and video number two, do make sure that you check them out on the Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service YouTube channel. In video number one we looked at how to make drums and rhythm sticks and in video number two we looked at how you can make all sorts of different kinds of shakers just from things that you can find around the house. In this video we're going to learn how to make clickers. Clickers are fantastic percussion instruments and as you can probably tell already they're very easy to make. But we'll also learn how to make some clicker bells and some castanets. Now castanets come from Spain. They're often used in a type of Spanish dance and music and song called flamenco dancing. Do have a look on the internet and see what you can find out about flamenco music. We'll also learn to make one of these. Now you're right, it doesn't look very special because it's only two rulers, but in an orchestra you'll often find a percussion instrument called a whip. And this is the make at home version of a whip. So let's get started. So let's take a look and see what we need to make our clicker. The first thing you'll need is some string. If you haven't got string don't worry you can use some ribbon or you could even take a rubber band and cut it up like so so that you can use a length of rubber band instead. Might be a little bit too springy, but if you haven't got anything else, that'll be fine. It won't matter at all. So what we do, we start by cutting up some lengths of our string. Now, I've made these probably about 20 centimetres long, uh, and you'll want them roughly the same length. It doesn't matter if they're slightly different, but you'll want them roughly the same length. And then you will, of course, need lots and lots of bottle tops. And I've got lots and lots of different sizes, different shapes here, different materials even. Whoops. All you then have to do, of course, is you take your bottle top, this one I think came off a tube of sweets, and you're just simply going to make a little loop at the end of the string like that, so that you've got something that can lay down on the bottle top. And then you just get some sticky tape. Now I, I found these left over from Christmas. They were just some slightly more interesting, different colored bits of tape that you can use because it just makes it look a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting. So there's my first one that I need to do. So now I think I'll have a green one. So once again, I'm just going to make a little loop at the end of the string, just like that so that it will sit down and lay down on top whoops, of the bottle top like that. And then another piece of tape, just like that, just tuck that under there. There we are. So there is my next clicker. So once you've added the string to some more bottle tops, of course, you can use as many as you like. You're ready to tie them together. Don't forget, of course, make sure all of your bottle tops are clean before you start. And also make sure they're safe. Make sure there's no rough edges. Get an adult just to help you. Now, the next little bit is probably the trickiest part of what we have to do. It's a little bit fiddly because what you want to do is try and get all of the ends of the string together so that they are the same length at this end. That's because we're going to tie them in a moment together like this and we want to try and tie them fairly close to the end of the string which sounds easy but when there's all this many strings it's actually quite tricky to do. You want to put them all together like that into a big knot, try and pull all the ends through, I think I've got nearly all of them there, there we are, and turn them into one big knot so that they don't come apart, there like that, and there you have your clicker. So now we're going to turn our clicker into a clicker bell. To do that you'll need a large drinks bottle, make sure it's empty, make sure it's been washed out so that it's clean and dry. And when you've got that ask an adult to help you cut off the top section of the bottle. We won't need that little bit so we'll get rid of that. Once you've got 
the top section of your bottle. You need to make sure, by the way, that it is the top section where the lid normally goes, because all you're going to do to make your clicker bell is you're going to carefully put your clicker up inside the bottle like that. And then just with a piece of tape, we're going to stick the strings around the top of the bottle. Now you sometimes find when you do that that you actually need just a second piece as well just to make sure it goes nice and tightly all the way around. And there you have your clicker bell. Now you may have seen in an orchestra that there is a very special percussion instrument called a whip. And it's basically two pieces of wood which are joined together at the bottom and then they snap together to make their sound and it's to sound like an old-fashioned horse's whip. We're going to have a go at making something a bit similar ourselves so to do this you'll need two rulers. We also need two large rubber bands. Now it does work better with rubber bands although you can use string if you haven't got rubber bands this side. First things first you take your first ruler and you're going to put the rubber band around near one end like that. You don't want it too far down. And you're going to loop it round as many times as you can so that it is fairly tight. That's probably good enough. I might just be able, there we go, to go one more time around there. So that's the first step. So I've got my rubber band around one end of the ruler, nearer one end than the other. Then you take your second ruler and you place that on top like that okay so that if I hold it at one end you can see there's a gap at the other end. You now take your second rubber band and that now goes around both rulers okay so it goes at the same point as the other rubber band but it's now actually going around both rulers and what that does is it joins them together but it also leaves a gap at that end. All you have to do now is holding them at the end like that you can now click them together. The other thing you can do is gently on your hand or possibly on the table make sure you ask an adult's permission first though then you can create all sorts of clicking sounds with your ruler whip. Now the castanets are one of my favourite clickers to make and they're very very easy to do. You only need a few things. First thing that you need is some card. Now ideally you want some fairly thick card but don't worry if you haven't got that I will show you how to make the card that you're using a little bit thicker later on. You'll also need some coins. Now 50p's tend to be a little bit heavy for what we're going to do. So I either use 10 P's or 2 P coins. It doesn't matter which you use. Either will work. Or in, of course you could use a mixture. You want to start by taking your card and folding it so that you've got a strip of card that's roughly that kind of width. It doesn't have to be exact. And then I'm just going to cut that out. And once we've cut it out, whoops, we're then going to halve it. So we don't want all of that, so I'm going to fold it in half. And we're actually only going to use about this much. If your card is fairly thin and flimsy, then it's not going to work very well when you put the coins on it. So the best thing to do is cut out another strip exactly the same length. And you can then glue them together. So just glue your two strips of card together and by doing that, of course, it will double the thickness of the card that you're using. So it will make it stronger. So there we are. Put one on top of the other like that. If you've got different colour cards, it's also nice because it makes it a little bit more interesting because you've got the two different coloured sides. Now, of course, you could, if you want to, you could decorate these as well. Now, castanets originated in Spain, so perhaps if you look up on the internet some flamenco dancing you'll see they usually wear very very flamboyant shirts and dresses with lots of bright colors so perhaps you could color in your castanets 
with lots and lots of different Spanish looking patterns and designs. Do that before you do the next stage. Now the next stage in making our castanets is how you fold the card. Now it's very easy but you have to do things in the right order. So the first thing you want to do is fold it in half like this. Try and get that nice and even like that so that you've got two pieces of exactly the same length. And you want that fold to be a fairly nice crease there so that it will spring open like that. Now the next two folds are going to go in the other direction and you want those folds to be about a centimeter or so either side of that central fold. Now I've turned it over so the fold is that way and I'm going to flatten it out and then I'm going to fold my piece of card over not on the same line but just around about a centimeter or so away from that center fold. So I end up with that. Then I need to do the same on the other side. So again, I'm looking for where my center fold was, the first one that I did, and then I'm just going to fold it around about a centimeter or so. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. So that I end up with this. So I've got one fold going one way and two folds going the other way. And that gives me a little sort of concertina idea. And then what you want to do is make sure that your center fold, the first fold that you did, is pointing inwards like that. When it's done like that, it almost looks a little bit like a letter W. So when you've got that, you'll find that you can hold your castanets like that and they will snap together. They will click. But what really makes that clicking sound, of course, is our coins. So to do that, we take one of the coins and we're going to just get a nice long piece of sellotape. You could glue them, I suppose, but generally the glue will not hold them very well. So a little bit of sellotape over one of the coins, just like that. Now, the only tricky part about the last stage is making sure when you put your next coin on that it is directly on top of the first one, because if it's not, of course, they won't click together. So you do need to just make sure that they click together. Now, if with that last one, the trick is to not stick it down too firmly, because that way, if they're not quite right, then you can adjust it, but that one's fine. So I'm just gonna tape that one down really, really nice and tight. And there you have your castanet. So whether it's making a clicker, a clicker bell, some rulers clicking together, our castanets, or even our tent peg bell. I hope you've enjoyed making some clickers with me in this video. Keep an eye on the Stoke-on-Trent City Music Service YouTube page for some more Recycle Rhythms ideas and also on the City Music Service Facebook page where you'll find a worksheet with some more of these ideas and a reminder on how to make each one of these. For now, bye-bye and take care.